Hi, this is Angelo at Arden Jewelers, and today we're gonna to be seeing if any of the at-home gold tests I've seen online actually work. Remember, if you're ever working with acids or chemicals to properly ventilate the area, and wear the right protective equipment. The first and most important step is visual inspection. This is actually the same thing that I do at the store. And what I'm looking for is, did the jeweler that originally made the piece put a stamp on it telling me how they made it or what metal they made it out of? Let's get started with a ring. And I like to use a 10 power loop or magnifying glass, or you can even use your smartphone and crank up the magnification. So trying to find the stamp does take a little time. On rings, it's normally on the inside. This one's stamped 14K, which means it could be made out of 14 karat real gold, or it could be a fake that someone stamped 14K. So we'll do more testing on this. Next is this bracelet. I normally look for stamps around the hinge or the clasp part of a bracelet. This one says 120th 12K GF. A quick cheat code, if you ever see a fraction, it's fake, you're done. Don't even worry about it. But this keeps going and tells us that it's 12K GF, and the GF stands for gold filled, which means it's got a tiny, tiny, tiny amount of gold on top of a base metal. And the next thing we'll look for if there wasn't a stamp is, is that gold peeling off? So I look where it might've been bumped, like on the edges or on the bottom, did it get scraped? And as I'm looking at this, you can actually see the gold filling, like peeling off from the base metal underneath. As soon as you see that, you know it's fake also, which is really cool. Last thing is, is it steel that's been gold plated? That's what I'm thinking and that's what I'm trying to figure out. A lot of times you'll see yellow, but then there'll be random white colors. So I'm trying to figure out, did someone take a steel piece and plate it gold? And if I see that, I'm really concerned that it's not real. All right. That's about as far as we can get visual inspection. The next step is a magnet. A ton of fakes that are on the market today are magnetic. And the way they're made is they use steel and then they put a plating over the top of them. So a super quick test you can do is get a really strong magnet. I like to use rare earth magnets and stack them up. And as you'll just touch each item, these have not picked up yet. Oh, but it got that chain got this birdcage thing, got that basket, barely got that. Do you see how it's like almost picking it up? Any magnetic at all is fake. You're done, so easy to tell. That doesn't mean you've caught every fake. There are fakes that are not magnetic, but if it's magnetic, it's not gold. The only thing to remember with a magnet is all clasps generally have a steel spring that makes the clasp movement work. So don't put the magnet on the clasp portion of a chain because you'll get it picking it up and you'll think it's fake when actually it's a real gold chain with just a steel spring in the clasp. So skip the clasp, run the magnet on the chain, and you're good to go. Now we're gonna move on to some of the more destructive tests we found. The first is using household bleach. This can be detergent or any normal bleach. And the way it works is you need to first take a file and scratch the item you wanna test. That's about enough. And some of these videos say you just like tap it to the bleach and it'll react right away. We did not find that to be the case. If you leave it in here for 15 to 30 minutes, then it should be reacting if it's fake. And if it's not fake, you won't see a reaction. A big point of caution, if you were to leave a real gold ring in here overnight, the bleach will actually start eating the alloys in that gold ring and will start damaging it, even though it's real. So be careful. Okay, it's been about 30 minutes. Let's see how it did. I don't see any reaction to the scratch is a good indication that this is a real gold ring. Next up is this birdcage. We're gonna give it enough of a file to get through any plating. I've been filing gold for years and right away this does not feel normal. I don't know how to quantify that though. Let's see what the bleach does to it.
As you can see, we are getting a lot of reaction from this birdcage. It almost looks like it's getting eaten a little bit by the bleach. We can conclusively say at this point, this is not gold. The next at-home test we want to try involves liquid foundation. You put a little on your hand, spread it out. It's important to wait until it's dry. Okay, once it's dry, you take your piece you want to test. Oh, I can see it's making it a little darker. Interesting, let's try another one. And this one's not changing at all. This could actually work pretty good. The next test we saw online is the lemon juice test. Similar to the other test, you scratch the item first. I'm gonna do the real gold ring and this suspect good fake piece. And then, Get some lemon juice. And you're looking for a reaction. I feel like that's a pot. Maybe it's doing a tiny bit of something. This is not very clear. I'm thinking possibly if we submerged it in lemon juice for a long time, we could get a reaction. But the videos say just use a lemon. Yeah, I'm not impressed on this one. This next test uses distilled white vinegar. Like the other test, put a small scratch in the item and drop it in the vinegar and you're looking for any sort of reaction that you can get. Okay, we've left them in the vinegar for 30 minutes and I still don't see any reaction on these test pieces. This one doesn't seem to work for us. The next test we found uses baking soda. First, you mix it with some water and you're trying to get it to look like syrup consistency. Then take some, put it on an item. Let it sit for a minute. And then rub it off. And you're looking for any reaction and I see none. No discoloration, no discoloration or reaction on either piece. This one doesn't seem to be working very well either. The next test we found to use at home uses toothpaste. So let's take the toothpaste, put it on the item, see if it discolors it. And then when you wipe it off, it's supposed to have discolored the item. Let's see if I get any reaction at all. No reaction. That would have been so cool if that one worked. This does not appear to work either. So if the tests you've tried at home have not worked very well, you can actually take your at-home gold testing to the next level with a touchstone acid kit. And you can get these online, they're relatively cheap, and they work pretty well. It's similar to what we use in the jewelry industry at the store. They are a little dangerous though. Do not ever boil them. Leave the acids at room temperature, they're nitric acid. And if they touch your skin, follow the directions to rinse it off immediately. Uh, you can use baking soda, but you don't wanna leave it on your skin, it's not good for you. But let's get started, I'll show you how this works. And if you guys love this, I can make a much more in-depth video about it, but you gotta let me know in the comments. First, this is a 14 karat gold band, and you do vertical scratch, about an eighth of an inch wide, and I'm gonna take a piece of suspected fake jewelry right next to it, 
a little ways away. You gotta press fairly hard. So I'd say it's mildly destructive. And then you start putting the acid in ascending order. So in the interest of time, I'll put a drop of 14, 14, and then, so already I can tell the 14 carat is eating the fake gold item, but the 14K acid is not eating the 14K gold ring. And then I put the 18K acid and right there, it's already eaten it. So that tells me that this ring is 14 karat gold and this costume piece is fake. The next piece of equipment you can use at home is the electronic gold tester. This is actually my favorite and I use it in the store almost every day. It's not perfect, but it works really well. Let me show you how it works. First, you take an item, make a firm connection to the silver disc, and then press the pin to it. What you're doing is you're making an electric connection and it's measuring the resistance. This one shows 14 carat on the gauge. Perfect. Let's try a fake. This is gold filled. And right away it shows red, so it's not real. But, because it is gold filled, if you test it in the right spot, it can show that it's gold. So, pretty tricky, but you gotta know how to use it, but it works great. So there you have it. Some great and not so great tests you can do at home. Be safe and let us know in the comments which ones have worked best for you. And if none of these are working and you really wanna know if your gold jewelry is real or not, we at Arden Jewelers would love to help. Feel free to reach out anytime. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next video.